Hi everybody, it's Noob Dude here, and today we're going to have a really quick look, probably 10 minutes though, so it's not that quick, uh, the All Pond Solutions Surface Skim 1. These retail in the UK for around about £10, give or take, uh, it might be a little bit over a 10, it might be a little bit under, there's All Pond are doing uh, sales on at the moment, um, so you can pick these up at a really good price, and I would advise you pick one of these up as a surface skimmer, it is second to none. And you'll pay double for one of these for less. Or for an average price of one of these on the market, not for this one, but for an average one, is around about £20 on the market. These are a tenner, and you get more features in this than you do with the others. And it's better. Don't, saying that, it does have a couple of little niggles, but they are minute little niggles. So, there's the box, Surface Skim 1, 300 litres an hour with a 3 watt um, power consumption. Dead straightforward comes with instruction manual you won't need it comes with the filter there's the big boy himself it comes with two sponges one that's in the filter and a spare one and as you can see that is a one inch by one inch by one inch square piece of 45 ppi i would say by looking at it it's only fine that's not going to hold much biologically active um bacteria it's just to catch the surface scum. You will get a little bit of biologically active material in there. Not a lot. So as a filter goes for that reason, if you want a biologically uh, or a bio part of the filter, if you, want a, if you want biological active media in there, it's not going to happen, is it? This is what it is. It's just for cleaning the surface. Basically, it's a glorify, glorified power head. That's how I'd say it. So it's, it's a power head to, for, for extra circulation in a bigger tank. But also with the added feature is it'll it'll clean the surface scum off as well. In a in a little nano tank, I wouldn't put one of these on a fish tank. Would I? I don't know. I use these for um, nano tanks with uh, shrimping, so they clean up all their mess. Doesn't need a lot of biologically active material in there. This is mechanical filtration. There's probably more biologically active. Um, bacteria in the tank on in the substrate and on the glass and on the rocks and all that lot so food for thought it serves a purpose this so also that comes with it besides the sponges is a venturi pipe let me just put this together just got it straight out the box i do have two of these one on a tank and one as a spare love the length there you can cut that down to however you want and basically all this does is there's your outlet okay so Water comes down through the sponge into the power head and out into the tank. If you want, you can add this little extra nozzle in there. That sits on the top over the edge of the tank. It's got a little valve on the end there. And it can induce air into the tank. I do say air, it's oxygen if you like, but it doesn't oxygenate the water as much as the bubbles coming out of here float to the top. All pop on the top, causing more so, um, surface agitation, which is good for gaseous exchange. That is it. I have CO2 on my tanks, um, so this helps the CO2 dissipate. Um, yeah, really good. I, I have this set up on my tank, the little... I just like it. I love the uh, all the bubbles in the tank, but there you go. Here's the filter itself. Okay, dead straightforward. Big long cable, still tied up. Three pin plug, obviously if you're in America, different plug, or uh, wherever you are, it'll come with a different plug, but there's the, the filter itself, that's the side profile, and that's the front po profile. Side profile, 50mm at the bottom of its widest part, front, 30mm across, height, 130mm from top to bottom. That's roughly, That's not, I've not read that off the instruction book or anywhere like that, I just had a quick measurement before. That's it, it's a dead straightforward surface skimmer. This part here floats on the top, collecting all the water. Water flows in through the gaps, down and out. Okay, so three things that th three can't count. Three things that let this filter down for me. As a filter, it's a brilliant filter at doing what it's supposed to do. But all pond solutions or whoever it is that make these filters, I know all pond market them. Stop putting stickers on the front of them. I don't want to look into my tanks. I'm looking this way. I'm looking at this all the time. I don't want to see a quality control sticker on the front, especially a big silver one. Stick it on the back. There's loads of room here. 
again this sticker rate is just a power consumption and a flow rate and the CE mark put them on the back I don't want to be looking at that hide it a little bit better you could probably put it inside this housing I know it does come apart you could probably put the sticker in there and I know you, you might want it to be able to be seen but put it at the back anyway I'll, I've just broke this down now we'll keep it apart I'll just show you how it breaks down dead simple all you do is hold onto the back snap it off put that part to the side you're left with your power or your power head your pump if you like box standard as in with every filter has a little propeller there good quality plastic doesn't bend magnetized you've got a hole in the middle you've got a pin there slots in and that's it that is it done and what, do you know what i always seem to wear the wrong color clothes when i'm doing these things and that's why i've got it on this wooden backboard cable comes out the bottom the third and final gripe i've got is the size of this cable it's far too thick for this filter don't get me wrong the conductors in here are 0.75 mil it's the insulation this black insulation that's around it it's really thick i understand that this cable is going to be in water but a better quality lower profile would be a lot better to manipulate it does come with an extra suction cup on the cable so that once this is attached to the tank facing you and this is manipulated over the top of the tank you can suction it on side and the, the one thing about this over the other manufacturers of these this part once it's in situ it stays there in fact that whole part stays inside the tank you never have to move this out i say never the only time you'll have to move this out is if you want to give this a clean down because it will get gunked up but other than that that stays in situ so that cable never has to move this is the only part yeah that gets removed that gets taken out and cleaned away so pump taken care of dead standard you'll see in air pumps or filters or anything like that this is the part that does all the gubbins so in here you've got a flow switch or a flow adjuster okay and all that does is a little hole at the bottom there I don't know if you can see through that's fully open that's 300 liters an hour or you can close it off bit by bit to very minimal flow just by adjusting this slider on the side you can feel you can hear the, the clicks as it locks in place so it's not going to it doesn't slide freely it's not going to open on its own accord um dead straightforward okay if you've seen a surface skimmer before or you've got one this is a, a bog standard design little flow rate adjuster there 300 liters fully open minimal flow when it's fully shut or it's not even fully shut it still has a little tiny gap done the next part or the next two parts comes in two parts i call this or i'll refer to this as the basket this is the float so this sits inside there and this floats on the top this also goes into part of this so i know we're getting confused it's like one of them tricks where you move things around right so that sits in there okay this is made to come out and this is a basket and what this does, as you can see there, it's got holes in the bottom, it's got a hole at the back. This sponge slides in there all the way to the bottom. Okay. The four holes are now covered by because it's got the sponge on the inside. So, water enters these gaps at the front and back and sides. Water flows in, down, through the sponge, into the power head and out to the tank. You can change this media. It comes with two of these sponges, like I said before. You can it comes with a little straw as well to poke it out. You can change this for the spare one, or you can put whatever. Um, um, what's the word? Rating of sponge, if you like. Uh, you know, coarse, medium, or fine. This is around about forty-five ppi. You could use a little bit of filter floss. Um, you could put a bit of filter floss in there to get a real good polish of the water. Okay, so it's going down through the filter floss, out the holes, into the powered, and out it goes. I'll leave that in there. And this is the float, okay? So this is the part that's just floating on top of the water there, through there. So imagine this is in situ. This floats away, collecting all the water. Water goes in, down through the sponge, and out of the power head. When you come to maintain this or service it or clean the sponge or replace the filter floss, all you do is you wiggle that black part there, you take this out, away to the sink, break it apart, take the filter floss out, which is in there, use your straw that comes with it, 
poke the old filter floss out, throw it in the bin, small piece of filter floss back in there, or if it's a sponge, give it a quick clean in aquarium water. That's the, yeah, I'm not even going there about the, the bacteria. But yeah, that's done. Dead straightforward, isn't it? Okay. Now, a really good selling point for these is, let me get rid of that. On other manufacturers, this is how this comes. I mean, this is square, but others are round. And these holes are so big that if this is in a shrimp tank or even small fish can get sucked into there, and it, all right, it, they won't go any further than the sponge. They'll sit in there swimming around, but it's pretty stressful for them, especially fish more than shrimp. Shrimp will love it, all the crap that's in there all collecting. You have to make your own strainer, right, on other brands that cost more money. For £10... This comes with a strainer of its own. And let me just show you this close up. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get a piece of paper. It's just the same profile as the top, the square profile. But the slots at the side, they've got three finer slots. Okay, and it is just like I say, it's a strainer. It's like what you put in a kitchen stink sink to stop all the, the food going down into the sink. And this basically just fits, just slots home into the top of that there like that okay these big gaps now are covered or not covered but the they're broken down into smaller areas so it doesn't affect affect flow rate it just stops any big pieces so if you've got a planter tank bits of plants or leaves will go into there but because this is here now it'll stay here but this is a protector if you've got shrimp or small fish if you've got big amano shrimps or big fish you can get rid of that you don't need it and all the rubbish will get caught in there. Okay. Great little selling point. Other companies should take a note of this. Because this comes as standard. All in all £10. This is a, a really good little added extra for these. So let's get it all back together again. Like I say. Four sections. Pump. Main body. Basket. Float. Float goes into the basket. Basket goes into the housing. Housing attaches to the pump. Drop it in, attach it to the side. This will float to the top. Turn it on and it just sits there floating away. Water goes in through the sponge and out. Okay. What I'm going to do now is, I mean, it's dead straightforward. Nothing else to show you on that. But what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to turn the camera around. I'm going to take it into my fish room. Uh, it's actually my office, this, not my main fish room. Uh, where I've got a little nano tank that's currently running with it on now. So I'm just going to take this off. And we'll turn the camera around. Come into my office. And as you can see, in the background there is one that's been going on. It's been, been on here now for two weeks. Okay, you can see the float bobbing away there. You can also see the oxygen or the air coming out of it because I've got the Venturi pipe attached just here. Okay, I'm sorry, but the floating plants are getting sucked in. All the all the roots. Look at the size of them roots. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see there, you can't really see the the pass mark or the pass sticker, but you can see the sticker, big silver sticker in the background, and that is it there. Okay, like I say, that's with the Venturi, and that's at about fifty percent capacity. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the, the the shutter on the side. It's it's half shut basically, so fifty percent, so about one hundred and fifty liters. It's only a tiny little nano tank. I have moved a lot of the shrimp out of this because this tank's getting rescaped, but there's still a few shrimp in there, little um, crystal reds and cherry shrimp. Um, but this is getting rescaped soon. But there you go. For a tenner, a brilliant little filter. Um, I've got nothing more to say on it. I do have, on a tank below, one of the others. This is another, this is just a, a plant tank that I've got. A little growing tank. This has got a mano shrimp in it. And as you can see there... This is another version. This isn't the whole pond. This is a, another version. But you can see the size of the holes there. 
little shrimp get sucked in there and uh, yeah it's a pain you can make your own little strainer for the top of them out of flower pots or whatever but there you go i also have another one of them on here this is my bigger tank and this is the reason why i have these these power heads on here i don't use lily pipe with a surface skimmer and built in on these which you can get and if we look at the top there if you imagine water from here from the outlet is coming along here and circulating around okay but what i always find is in this corner here i get poor poor plant growth and that's whether the see i have an inline diffuser for co2 so the co2 is not really strong enough and it's not making it past all these obstacles here so the plants here suffer so i'll put the power head in that corner there 300 liters pumping there so the water is going along here starting to stagnate out or to die down and then it gets pumped along there and it creates a good flow and as you can see in my tank if you can see the plants at the back there waving away getting good flow even to the back corner there you can see the plants moving fish water getting on the act but anyway that's why i use a surface skimmer keeps the top nice and clean gives me extra flow in a bigger tank like this or in a smaller tank like this keeps the surface nice and clean you can see that's crystal clear the surface that's why i use surface skimmers okay everyone take care if there's any questions you want to ask or any information you want to know about these uh, all pond solutions surface skimmers by all means ask me um yeah i'll, I'll try and help where i am that's it take care everyone goodbye